Good morning, good morning, everyone. It is like 11.36, I think. I have eaten breakfast, gotten dressed, taken out the recyclables, and cleaned the litter box, and now I'm getting ready to do the um, demo reel that Patrick asked me to do. Get ready, because this is year six of daily vlogging. Um... So I'm outside. It happened, everyone. It happened. Got a text message this morning from Ashlyn saying that the bride of the wedding they were just at just tested positive. They were going on their honeymoon, so they had to test at the port, and unfortunately that is where she tested positive. But the wedding was two days ago, which let's say if this is her first day of testing positive than she was infectious two days ago um most so most likely she was infectious when everyone was right there ashlyn officiated the wedding so she was right there and they all drove in the same car together so yeah even though this is precisely why i did not go to the wedding and now it might not even matter because we're all in the same household together. Ashlyn is keeping herself to her room. I have been masked around everyone since I came home. So I'm hoping that counts for something. Uh, I will be staying in my room. Um, I've, I've been kind of keeping to my room anyway also because of that. Like if I was asymptomatic and got it from the plane and didn't know, I've just kind of been gravitating more towards doing that and then masking when I'm... Uh, going out of my room and there are other people in the house and I I know logically that this is so transmissible like I know that I, I know that for certain so I have been trying so hard to tell myself listen it's really just a matter of time it's really just a matter of time you're going to have to accept that it is very possible you are not going to be able to escape this wave and yet, it does nothing to ease the insane amount of anxiety that I have around this. I mean, it is just, I, and it's just like, I feel like I'm just trapped now because I'm literally in a household where there was close exposure, closer exposure than when I was exposed at work because I was masked and no one was, they were masked during the reception but not during the actual ceremony. And I'm just like, this is the thing, like this has been two years of this crushing fear that I can't get rid of, you know, I can't do anything. I can't get rid of it, it just happens. I can't control it. And it's gone on and off, you know, as the waves have, you know, wave rises, my anxiety rises as it goes down, my anxiety calms down, but like, two years, nearly, of living with just this absolutely crushing fear that does not go away. And the hardest part is realizing that we could have been out of it by now, overall. We could have been out of the pandemic or much closer to the end of the pandemic if people had just done what was asked of them. And instead, I live in a country where people are like, you're taking away my rights. And now, like, it's just these... These next few days are going to be so incredibly difficult mentally. I already was struggling with like feeling like I was bored and all of that. I'm like, I, and I can't, I can't get out of it. I can't, there's nowhere I can go. There's nowhere I should go. Cause now I'm exposed by exposure. It's like, okay. so it is now like 5 PM. Haven't vlogged in a while. Um, we are all isolating from each other. Uh, Ashlyn's in her room. I'm staying primarily in mine. She has her door closed, but I can't close my door because um, 
Nola needs to come in and get her food and the cats need to come in and out, but that's honestly okay because I'm not the one who's isolating. Anyway, I'm going out and grabbing myself Chipotle. Um, I already ordered it, but um, yeah. Running out to get that quickly for Linner. Oh, I forgot I already have a mask in the car. Um, basically for Linner because I did not actually have lunch. <laughs> and um, yeah, so anyway, and then I'm getting gas while I'm out because my car desperately needs gas, so we're gonna grab some of that. Yeah, I have not done a great job of eating today. My bad. But I had two chocolate chip Eggo waffles for breakfast, and then a few hours later, I had a snack sized bag of Cheez Its, and I had a fun sized Milky Way bar. That's been about it. So. <laughs> I figured Chipotle was a good option because one, I had a gift card that I got for Christmas for there, and two, because it's filling and there's protein. There's chicken and rice and all of that. All so. right. It is 9.18. I'm in my pajamas and like, I guess going too bad, but I'm not like going to sleep just yet. I'm more just like planning to hang out in bed and read on my phone or something. Um... I am a little concerned because I have developed a little bit of a headache, um, but I think it is just from not eating great today and not drinking enough water, but I am monitoring myself very closely and we're all isolating from each other anyway. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.